So next up, I want to talk about the integrity attribute that you can add to your script tags. Now, this is a way that you can protect yourself from people messing with your scripts or somebody injecting code or altering scripts that you're using on your page. What I've got here is a very simple page. I've got two external JavaScripts that I'm loading. Both of them are very simple. They're just running out a message about the script is running and then some random text. And this one, the other script is running again with some random text. So that's all that they do. On the page, I've got a very basic content security policy, just saying anything that comes from the same place as the HTML file, we're going to allow that. So that's all it's doing right now. Not a very secure policy. So let's take a look in the browser. We'll see. Here's the page. Here's the two scripts that are running. And this error message down here having to do with the content security policy just has to do with my live reload script that's running. So we're going to ignore this inline script message, but we are going to want to see the other script is running and the script is running. So keep an eye out for those two things. All right, jumping back in here. Now, the integrity attribute. We can add that to every one of our scripts. And if it's there, and we add some value inside of here, what we're telling the browser is take this file and run it through one of the hashing algorithms. So it's either SHA-256, 512, or 384, one of those three algorithms, and come up with a hash value that represents the file. That way, if somebody does make a change to this file and it doesn't match the value that you've got inside of here, the browser's going to refuse to run it. So if there's a script that comes from someplace else and somebody else could mess with it, this is a good way to protect your users. All right, so how do I get this value? Well, it's going to be something like this. It'll it'll look like this, two, SHA-256 with a hyphen, SHA-256 or 512 or 384, one of them, and then a base64 string, which represents this file. All right, how do we get that value? Well, there's a website that we can go to the SRI hash generator right here. If you have the URL, like if you have your script that's online or you're using somebody else's script and you've got the URL, you can just put it inside of here, hit hash, and it'll generate the hash value. Then you can copy and paste it. If you don't have that, but you do have OpenSSL installed, so if you're on a Mac, you're, you've got this out of the box. We take this one line, and let's jump back into here. I'm going to open up my terminal and we'll paste that line. So OpenSSL is going to create a digest. Here's the hashing algorithm to use. This is the name of the file that we want to hash. So I'm going to give it these names. Make sure that you're in the right folder to do this. And then it's going to pipe that to OpenSSL base64, which is going to convert this hash from binary into base64. So we can take that, copy and paste it into our file. All right, so let's make some edits here. So I'm going to change this from file name to integrity. That's the name of my JavaScript file. And this will become SHA-256. There we go. Right here, this is the value. So I will copy that, come up here, and paste. Now I have a valid value. So this one should work. This one, I'm just going to put some gibberish in. So I'll save that. There's our two links. The integrity value is in both. This one's correct. This one is not. Come back into our page and we'll reload this. There we go. The script is running, but the second one fails because we don't have a valid value. So it took this other integrity JS file. It ran the SHA-256 algorithm on it, came up with this value. And this is not the value that we have in our file. Now, I could run the command again, but I'm just going to copy this. This is the value. So I'm just going to copy and paste it into there. So this should now work. Refresh. There we go. Both scripts are now running. So it's a great way to simply and easily protect your page from having scripts that have been messed with. Um, now, another thing, content security policy. This is a great way to protect your page as well, making sure that there's nothing on your page that's being loaded by the browser that you did not intend to be loaded on that page. 
well, we can come in here and we can also start to say, you know what? I'm going to have some scripts that are loaded on this page. And I'm not just going to tell you what protocol or what domain they came from. I'm actually going to specify what this is. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, you know what? If this is the integrity value for the script, it's good for me. So I'll save that. So I've got the first one here, but I don't have the second one yet. Come back and we'll reload this page. And once again, the first script ran, but the second one didn't because it violated the following CSP. We don't have the correct value. They're not the same value. So it's going to look at this and say, well, they both have to match this for me to run it. They don't. But if I want to make it work, I can just take this, copy it, and I will add that into my list of potential values. And we'll reload our page. And there we go. Once again, we have both scripts running. So that is the content security policy working with the integrity attribute in the script. Uh, if you don't know what the content security policy is, I will put the link to a video that I've already done on the content security policy down in the description, and you can uh, watch that as well. Uh, if you have any other questions, please feel free to leave those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.